everybody and welcome back to another Total Drama video where we are covering something new! Oh my goodness, this is exciting. So, what I've heard, there is a teaser trailer for the new Total Drama season, which is already so incredibly exciting by itself. Oh man, I, I can't wait. I haven't seen this yet. We're going to react to it first. So if you also haven't seen this just yet, please enjoy watching this for the first time with me. And if you have already seen it, then we're going to dive a little deeper into the different scenes of this trailer and analyzing what interesting things we can take from this. One more thing that I should probably clear up from this. I heard that this trailer is in Italian and I do not speak Italian at all. So I don't know if I'm even going to make sense of this, but I'm just really excited to see some new material of the show. All right, so I'm first going to play it in full and then we're going to pause it halfway through. So here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, the music. Oh, yes. Oh man, that looks so good. Okay, so what did we get from this? Well, I paused it at the best shot, maybe, of this entire trailer. This is the confirmation that we are indeed going back to Camp Wawanaqua. Look at that! It's back in its former glory. We have the outhouse, we have the two sleeping cabins, we have the dining area, we have the area where they got their marshmallows and such. We got the dark of shame, it's all back! The cliff! It, it's Camp Owenakwe in the way that we used to know it. Interestingly enough, I don't see Boney Island, but I don't remember being able to see this on this shot either. I wonder if they're going to address the last time that we saw this, which was uh, in All Stars, where it sunk to the bottom of the ocean. That is still an interesting question lingering in the air, is how much are they going to play in on what was already canon and how much are they going to ignore what just happened because i know that they confirmed that the past seasons happened but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to play a role here i feel like they want to get back to the roots and tying it to things that have already happened might not be the best strategy for that anyway just seeing wawanaqua in its former glory is already so exciting in and of itself and then when you have the the amazing theme song you can't really properly hear it but but then we have the amazing theme song cover, which is accompanying it. Okay, so this, um, this of course reminds me of the killer base, which is really interesting because are they going back on team names that they already used? But then again, we also have what I can only assume is going to be the killer frogs right here, which is a completely new team name. So I'm guessing the, the fish thing here is also going to be something else. If I have to guess, it's something like the, the angry Droughts or the uh, frustrated tuna or something like that. It, it's a it's an angry fish. Let's keep it at that. Now let's also look because we have the team divisions right here. So what we can see from this image is that Millie, Ripper, Z, Chase, and Priya are on the same team. This is missing a couple of members, but then in the next shot we get every single one of them, which is Nichelle, MK, Bowie, Emma, Caleb, Wayne, Raj, and Julia all being on the same team. Now what I find really interesting about this is that this aligns with a previous screenshot that we already saw as a teaser image. Yeah, this is the one. So in this image, you can clearly see Emma, Bowie, Raj, Wayne, Julia, and MK being in this shot together. And I already kind of suspected that that might be because these people are in a team, but you know, we didn't really get that confirmed, but now we do have it confirmed that they are indeed on the same team, which raises the very interesting question of where is Caleb and where is Nichelle? Are they already eliminated at the point that this shot is showing? Or are they simply not present during this part of the challenge? But I'm going to keep my eye on maybe being the first persons to go out in the episode. We don't really know, but for now, I don't think it's, it's that far of a stretch to assume that they might be the first to go. Okay, then we get this amazingly goofy scene of Ripper ripping his shirt. I really wonder if that is the reason that they call him Ripper, is because he rips his shirt. <laughs> that would be super goofy. <laughs> Just look at this, man. <laughs> now, what I find interesting about this pose is that we see that he is wearing a different colored shirt than what he is wearing in the promotional material, which might suggest that his design changed last minute, but but it also could just mean that he is wearing different clothings. But different types of clothes is not something that Total Drama usually does. 
But hey, in this case, it makes sense because he rips his shirt apart, so he probably needs a new shirt. Anyway, I just love this animation. It looks so goofy. <laughs> Also, with him being so incredibly angry, I wonder why he is this angry. Is he showing off that he's really strong? Or is there somebody who angered him into a fight? That that could be fun. I, I don't know what to expect of this, but I'm really excited for it to happen on the show. Then we get this. Like, what the heck is this? Then we, we go from all lovey-dovey total drama back to the roots to a full-on missile station firing several rockets all willy-nilly. I, I find this really peculiar. What is the, the context behind this? Are we going to see these as actual missiles being fired or is, it, or is this just a description of somebody? Is it part of a challenge? And what kind of a dumb challenge is this going to be that we're firing actual missiles? <laughs> Anyway, I don't really know what to expect of this either. Uh, then we have this fabulous shot of the man, the myth, the legend himself, Chris McLean, walking to the camera, fully animated. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. And then we already get this final shot with, of course, the three characters that I have not mentioned just yet being MK, Damien and Axel, also on the Angry Fish team. <laughs> and then we have this full lineup of all the characters. It looks amazing. Wayne is looking really cross-eyed here. I wonder why that is. <laughs> and also, I just love, I, I love Scary Girl's pose here. This is going to be such a fun character, just purely based on this position alone. This is exactly what I was hoping this character would be. So I think this is going to be like a Harley Quinn type of character. And with her just standing like this, her being all girl bossy, I really hope that's the case. I'm getting the Harley Quinn vibes majorly from this character. We also get to see Chef's new design again. Uh, we already knew this from the promotional material that he was going to wear some new design. But here we see it in the flesh. Um, which is interesting because I wonder if that also means that he gave up the role as cook and that he is really just a co-host now, which could also be really interesting to see him in that role. But then maybe there's going to be a new chef cook or there's going to be no cook at all. Who knows? I don't for sure, but I find all of this really intriguing. That's the best way I can describe this for now. In the back here, we can also see the marshmallow ceremony area. Also, it looks like they fully patched up the dock of shame again. So I, we haven't seen the boat of losers just yet. So that might not be the method of elimination, but who knows if they're going back to the roots, it might just very well be. And then we get some final shots. We get Chris going total drama. And then what I'm assuming is Island. Um, because of how they are going back to the roots. And then I don't speak Italian, but if I have to guess what it says here, it says there's a new series coming, Total Drama Island. Lizola, I believe, is Italian for the island. Please, if somebody speaks Italian in the comments, let me know if that is actually correct or not. Prestissimo. Uh, I'm absolutely butchering the pronunciation of this, but hey, as a dumb little Dutch boy, I, I have to improvise, right? I, I'm guessing this means soon. And then I believe that is it. Yeah, so that is really interesting. Oh, man. Anyway, I think that's about all that I have for right now. I mean, this is a 14 second clip. I can ramble on about what I hope from this show. But for now, I think we analyzed about everything that there is to analyze in here. If you had some interesting discoveries, make sure to leave them down below. Now, if you are new to the Silly Billy channel, please consider subscribing. If you are excited for the new Total Drama seasons and you want a place to talk about it, make sure to subscribe to this channel because we are going to cover everything that you want to hear about this show. Character rankings, episode reviews, blind reactions, the whole shebang, it's all going to be right here on this channel. So if you want to witness all of this live with a lovely community of people with very, very differing opinions about which character is the best, then make sure to stay up with the channel by subscribing, hitting the little bell icon, and of course, liking the video. I mean, the latter is not going to help you keep up to date, but hey, it still helps. And if you're down there already, then why not do it, right? So. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Silly Billy, and remember, the new Turtle Drama seasons are around the corner, and I can't wait. Out of